<sighs> if my eyes look swollen or tired, it's because I'm exhausted. Um, I This is one of the weird parts about having a YouTube channel where you talk about your life because um, there are just things that sometimes you're not really ready to talk about, but you kind of, not that I feel like I have to, but just, I can't, I can't move forward um, until I talk about this, but <laughs> unfortunately, Moo passed away. I waited a little bit longer to film this just because um, when this happened with Layla a month and a half ago, it was really like fresh and raw and I just didn't give myself I don't think enough time to like process so I'm exhausted um emotionally and I'm just like so deflated and sad um Mo was 16 so he was definitely a senior cat and he had been struggling with IBD it's like a bowel disease slash and or cancer we're still not entirely sure which one um and I would say in the last three, four weeks, we definitely had seen like a little bit of a decline. We had just seen a lot more signs of age and um, maybe that like things were progressing and I'm not gonna go into like all the details, um, but I, over, over, I mean, it's been a, several days now, but over the, you know, last probably three, four days of his life, and then even in the last like 48 hours and then even more in the last 24 hours like he was a completely different cat um he just started declining a lot more rapidly and he didn't have quality of life anymore it was just it's just so sad it's just so sad drew and i went from having our two pets that we've had for most of our adult lives to no one and like the house just feels so empty and quiet and I, we were just starting to heal, you know, at least try to heal from losing Layla and now this happened and yeah, I'm, I'm just exhausted <laughs> and I'm just so sad. I really, really don't want to cry. I'm trying so hard to just put one foot in front of the other and like keep going, but it's just really hard. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you cared for Moo a lot just like you did with Layla and that means so much to both Drew and me um, it really does and we appreciate so many of the kind words by the time you're seeing this I've already had it posted on Instagram for a few days and I've just been getting non-stop comments and messages and it's just so kind and we appreciate it so much yeah he was just the sweetest sweetest little boy and it's just so unexpected but at the same time it's like i mean i guess i guess i could see you know that animals get older and they have to go but it's just so unfair it's just so unfair so i feel comforted with the you know what i'm telling myself anyway to get through the days is that Layla and boo are together on the rainbow bridge with all of our loved ones and <sighs> that they're not in pain anymore, either of them. I'm trying to remember something that I saw one of you say when Layla passed away, which is that like, your pets give you so many of the best moments of your life and one of the worst. And that's so true. And if you could just have, if you would just have any extra like love in your heart or brain space or whatever, if you could just send some love to Drew He's just really, really hurting. He had moved since he was 19 years old and he's about to turn 35 and that's just such a, a long time to spend with a companion. And I mean, I've known of Moo for 14 of those 16 years. You know, when Drew and I met, he had only had Moo for two years and um, it's, I just, I love him. I love him and I miss him so much already. And yeah, anyways. Just kind of wanted to unfortunately let you know that news and 
I'm just trying my best. I'm, I've been really trying to like get back into work and getting back into the swing of things, but man, it's just like, it feels so hard. I'm just so cried out. Like I'm so tired of crying. My eyes like genuinely hurt. <laughs> I haven't even finished crying over Layla yet and now it's just compound and it just sucks. So I'm just gonna keep talking in circles if I keep this going, but um, just wanted to say thank you for everyone who has sent love and support our way. It truly means a lot and um, yeah, I'm just kind of doing my best. So is Drew and it's all we can do, but I'm just so grateful that so many of you got to know Moo. Was my hair sticking out this whole time? Whatever. So many of you got to know Moo and see little glimpses of him when he, you know, chose to grace us with his presence and in the last couple of vlogs i feel like he was just much more like demanding attention and center stage and i just love that being so cute and sweet um and we just had no idea what was coming even though we kind of did anyway i gotta go i'm gonna turn this off and cry probably but thank you for being here and um yeah we'll just do our best to kind of resume at a pace that feels okay for me but i mean i also like i have to work <laughs> to like pay the bills and drew has to work to pay the bills and we just kind of have to keep going so thanks for watching this vlog i'm really sorry about the the real buzz kill i'm i'm still in a little, in a little bit of shock to be honest but it's just how life goes i suppose so anyway i'm tired of talking and looking at myself so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vlog.